Almighty and everlasting God, we come before you with hearts overflowing with gratitude and mouths filled with praise for the unmatched power of your Son, Jesus Christ. He who walked the earth, not only as a testament to your love and mercy, but as the living embodiment of your power to heal, save, redeem, and perform miracles, demonstrating sovereignty over the very forces of nature. We are in awe of the magnitude of his power as he calmed the raging sea, healed the sick, and even raised the dead. His miracles were not mere acts of kindness, but divine interventions that displayed your glory and authority over all things. Even death could not hold him as he conquered the grave and rose victorious, fulfilling prophecies made centuries prior. Through him, we have received salvation and the gift of eternal life. He has bridged the gap between humanity and divinity, granting us access to your throne and the power of the Holy Spirit. He has demonstrated that nothing is impossible for you and that even the most dire situations can be transformed by your grace. We thank you for the sacrifice of your son and for the love and mercy that you have shown us through him. May we never forget the power and majesty of your name, and may our lives be a testament to your goodness and faithfulness. And Jesus went throughout Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every kind of sickness and disease among the people. He didn't discriminate whether it was physical, emotional, or spiritual ailments, he healed them all. Jesus' ministry was marked by compassion, love, and mercy towards the afflicted. In a world where pain and suffering are a daily reality, Jesus came to bring hope and restoration. He didn't turn away from the sick, the broken, or the outcast, but instead, he reached out to them with open arms. Jesus revealed the heart of God, who desires to mend what is broken and make whole what has been shattered. Through his healing ministry, Jesus not only relieved physical pain, but also restored dignity, value, and purpose to those who had lost it. He showed that God is not distant or indifferent to our suffering, but he is intimately involved in our lives and desires to bring healing and wholeness to every aspect of our being. Today, we can take comfort in the fact that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He still heals, restores, and brings hope to the hopeless. We can approach him with confidence, knowing that he understands our pain and is eager to bring healing to every area of our lives. Furthermore, the word of God unequivocally declares, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16 this profound truth encapsulates the very essence of salvation, which is offered freely to all through faith in Jesus Christ. He who came to seek and save the lost, Luke 19 verse 10, by his death and resurrection, provided a way for us to be reconciled to God, redeeming us from the curse of sin and granting us eternal life. Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation, as affirmed in his own words, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me, John 14, verse 6. This truth is not subject to debate or negotiation, for the word of God is absolute and unchanging. Salvation is not earned or achieved through good works, but it is a gift freely given to all who believe in Jesus Christ. As the Apostle Paul declared, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9. Therefore, let us not be deceived by false teachings that preach a different gospel, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Acts 4 verse 12. Let us instead hold fast to the truth of the gospel, which is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Romans 1 verse 16. Salvation is a free gift offered to all who believe in Jesus Christ as the only way to God. Let us not take this gift lightly, 
but let us instead live our lives in gratitude and obedience to him who loved us and gave himself for us. Throughout his earthly ministry, Jesus performed countless miracles that left no doubt about his divine authority and power. He calmed the stormy sea with just a word, demonstrating his complete mastery over nature and its elements, Mark 4 verse 39. He fed thousands of people with just five loaves of bread and two fish, showcasing his limitless provision and care, Matthew 14 verses 13 to 21. He even raised Lazarus from the dead, boldly declaring that he is the resurrection and the life, John 11 verse 25. Each of these miracles was not just a mere display of supernatural power, but a revelation of God's kingdom. For in that kingdom, there will be no more tears, no more death, and no more sorrow. The miracles of Jesus were a foretaste of that glorious place where all things will be made new and where God will reign supreme. The power of his miracles was not just limited to the physical realm, for they also had spiritual implications. Jesus' healing of the sick and the blind was a sign that he had come to heal the brokenhearted and to set the captives free, Isaiah 61 verse 1. His casting out of demons was a declaration of war against the powers of darkness and a reminder that evil would not triumph over good, Luke 10 verses 17 to 20. Indeed, the miracles of Jesus were a testament to his identity as the Son of God, the promised Messiah who had come to save his people. They were a display of his love, mercy, and power, and they continue to inspire awe and wonder in the hearts of believers today. As we reflect on the miracles of Jesus, let us remember that they were not just displays of power, but invitations to faith. There were signs pointing us to the good news of salvation and the hope of eternal life. May we never forget the power and wonder of our Lord and Savior, who continues to work miracles in our lives even today. Jesus' words in Mark 16 verses 17 to 18 give us a clear directive as his followers. He promises that those who believe in him will have the power to cast out demons, speak in new tongues, handle snakes, and drink deadly poison without being harmed. Furthermore, we are called to lay hands on the sick and see them recover. Jesus is not just instructing us to perform miracles, but rather empowering us to do so. He promises that the Holy Spirit, who raised him from the dead, lives in us. Therefore, we can walk in faith and believe for the impossible. As followers of Christ, we are not called to live in fear of the powers of darkness. Rather, we are called to stand firm against them and demonstrate the power of God's kingdom here on earth. We are to pray for the sick, believe for miracles, and boldly proclaim the gospel to those who have yet to encounter the love of Jesus. This is not just a call for certain individuals or leaders in the church. Jesus' promise to his followers applies to all who believe in him. We are all called to step out in faith and trust that the power of the Holy Spirit will flow through us as we seek to make a difference in the world around us. We are not to shy away from the supernatural power of God. Rather, we are to embrace it and use it to further his kingdom. Let us walk in faith, believing that Jesus' promise to his followers is still true today. Almighty God, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude and reverence. We acknowledge that you are the creator of all things, the giver of life, and the source of all power and authority. We humbly ask that you pour out your Holy Spirit upon us in a fresh and powerful way. Give us a new zeal for your kingdom, a boldness to proclaim the gospel, and a passion to see the sick and suffering healed. Lord, we know that your word declares that we have been given authority in Christ to heal the sick, cast out demons, and do even greater works than Jesus did on earth. Help us to walk in that authority with confidence and boldness, knowing that you are with us always and that nothing is impossible for you. We pray that you would open doors for us to share the good news of Jesus with those who have not yet heard it. 
Give us opportunities to love and serve our neighbors, to offer hope and healing to those who are hurting, and to bring light into the darkness of this world. We trust in your promise that you are able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to your power that is at work within us. May your spirit fill us to overflowing, empowering us to live lives that bring glory and honor to your name. O oh God, we come before you with humble hearts, recognizing that we are in need of your help and guidance. We ask that you would help us to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who endured the cross for the joy set before him. We acknowledge that it is easy to become distracted by the things of this world and to lose sight of our ultimate goal, which is to live a life that glorifies you. But we know that by keeping our focus on Jesus, we will be able to run the race that is set before us with perseverance and endurance. As we look to Jesus, we are inspired by his life of selfless service, sacrificial love, and unconditional compassion. He showed us what it means to love our neighbors as ourselves, to care for the marginalized and oppressed, and to give of ourselves without expecting anything in return. We ask that you would help us to follow in his footsteps, to live out our faith with courage and conviction, and to be a light to those around us. May we be known not only for what we say, but for the way that we live as we seek to bring hope and healing to a broken world. Almighty God, we come to you in times of uncertainty and fear, seeking comfort and strength. We ask that you remind us of the countless miracles that Jesus performed during his time on earth. He healed the sick, fed the hungry, and brought hope to the hopeless. His love and compassion knew no bounds, and he touched the lives of all who came to him. Lord, we know that in these challenging times, many of us are struggling with doubt and fear. We ask that you renew our faith and restore our spirits. Help us to be vessels of your healing love and instruments of your peace in a world that is broken and hurting. We pray that you give us the courage and strength to carry out your work, even in the face of adversity. May we never lose sight of the promises you made to us and the hope that we have in you. Help us to trust in your plan for our lives and to find comfort in the knowledge that you are always with us. In your infinite wisdom, you have shown us time and time again that nothing is impossible with you. You have the power to heal the sick, comfort the grieving, and bring light to the darkest of places. We ask that you work through us to bring your love and hope to those who need it most. We express our gratitude to you, O oh God, for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we have seen the fullness of your glory, experienced your boundless grace, and received the promise of eternal salvation. We acknowledge that it is only through the sacrifice of Jesus that we can approach you with confidence and receive forgiveness for our sins. As we reflect on the life and teachings of Jesus, we are inspired to live our lives in a manner that reflects his love and compassion. We recognize that our words and actions are a testament to our faith, and we strive to be a shining example of the transformative power of the gospel. We pray that you would work in our hearts and minds, transforming us into vessels of your grace and mercy. Help us to love our neighbors as ourselves and to seek justice and righteousness in all that we do. May your spirit guide us each day as we seek to live out the calling that you have placed on our lives. We give you all honor and praise, knowing that you alone are worthy of our worship and adoration. May our lives be a living sacrifice to you, reflecting the beauty and majesty of your Son, Jesus Christ. We offer this prayer in the powerful and precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. We believe this prayer has added virtue to your faith and is already active in your life. We invite you to share your response by commenting, Amen. Your engagement is more than just support. It's a way to spread hope and faith. If you feel inspired, please share this video with your friends and family. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more daily prayers that uplift and inspire. 
Your involvement is invaluable to us. We also welcome your prayer request. Feel free to leave them in the comments. And together, as a community, we will bring them before God. Your faith and our collective prayers can create a powerful force for blessings and victory. Remember, you're not just a viewer. You're a vital part of this journey of faith. Each like, share, and subscription helps us reach more hearts every day. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ accompany you always.